We'll give you the whole story in about four verses here, okay? So we'll save you a lot of time and hassle and heartache, okay? Now, uh, Tim Finnegan was a Dublin man who was fond of the drink. He was out drink. He was out working one day after the night before, and he fell off his ladder. He hit his head off the ground, and everyone thought he was dead. So they brought him off to his wake, uh, and in the middle of the wake, as sometimes happens, a fight broke out. And somebody threw a bottle of whiskey across the room, and the whiskey smashed on the wall above Tim Finnegan, who was laid out for the wake. A couple of drops of whiskey fell onto Tim Finnegan's lips, and he arose from the dead. So that was the story that James Joyce saw a whole lot of meaning, uh, life and death and the resurrection, thus uh, the book. But as I said, don't book bother with it. We'll give you the whole thing here uh, in a few minutes. And you can drink while you're doing it as well. So that's a whole lot better. Now listen, there's a competition in the song, and the competition is very easy. It's between everyone sitting down there against the four of us. Okay? All you have to do is clap along for the chorus, but stop when the music stops, okay? And we'll be picking you out if you get it wrong. Now, I, 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 we've been playing this song for 23 years. We have never been beaten, okay? Are you feeling confident tonight? <laughs> Misplaced confidence. We'll see how you are. We'll see how the rhythm is. So clap for the chorus. Stop for uh, when the music stops. And uh, we'll see how you get on. Finnegan's Week. Well, Tim Finnegan lived in Watford Street. A gentle Irish man. He was mighty odd. He'd a beautiful brogue, so rich and sweet. And to rise in the world, he carried a heart. But you see, it is sort of a temple and way. With the love of the gargle. <sighs> Tim was born. You ready to clap? Yeah. And to help the mother's day. not good. <laughs> and listen, we probably caught a few people on the hop. That was only the practice run. We have a couple of problems. The, uh, the lack of rhythm being shown by some of them. <laughs> not good. Um, some people, as well, are cheating. They're not taking part. They're not clapping at all. Very hard to get it wrong if you don't clap in the first place, folks. So we want to see everyone trying it this time. Everyone getting it right. This is the real thing. Just to give you a hand. I'm the official clapper. <laughs> the word is clapper. Okay. So watch me carefully and you won't go wrong. I promise you. One morning Tim felt rather full. His head felt heavy and it made him shake. He fell off his ladder. He broke his skull. So they carried him off his corpse to wake. While well, they wrapped him up in a nice clean sheet. And they laid him out there upon the bed. You ready? With the bottle of whiskey and his head, the bottle of whiskey and his head. Okay, some people are getting worse. <laughs> so next time we're going to pick one person out, we're going to bring them up here on stage to have a little talk with the Silver Fox. <laughs> So listen, uh, we'll see how we get on this time. Uh, concentration with your own Here we go. Just, just in case my clapping upset you or threw you off, I'm not going to clap this time. You're on your own. <laughs> well, they all assembled at the wake, and Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch. First, they laid out tea and cake and pipes and tobacco and whiskey punch. Then Biddy O'Brien, she began to cry. Such a lovely corpse did you ever see? Are you ready? Are you Okay, we're going to have to bring in one of our little house rules, which is rule 17F, which states that if I see you with your hands frozen like that, it counts as a full clap. So we're going to go for the lady right here in front of me on the left. Right the Come on up here and say hello to Tom. So 
Oh, it's Hugh Hefner here. I mean, Tom here. <laughs> it's just going to uh, interview this young lady. This normally takes about 15 minutes. Please bear with us. So I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for your pleasure, more importantly ours, we have Amara all the way from the US. Lilia <laughs> Bosnia. <laughs> so to reward Amara for having absolutely no rhythm, <laughs> we're going to present her with the Merry Plowboys Fine Girl You Are t-shirt. Not that easy. <laughs> Notice I got the kiss first. <laughs> Would you like to see Amara put the t-shirt on? Yeah. Come on, encourage her. Yeah. Well, so would I. I mean, we. Um, I'm now going to ask her to put on the t-shirt in time with a very, very suitable piece of old Irish music. And she's put this on with feeling. I'm going to give her her instructions now. Which is a good thing. If you get it wrong this time, we don't care what your name is, we don't care where you come from. All you have to do is buy the band a round of drink. <laughs> this is our favourite verse, but unfortunately, we always got a huge improvement for this verse for some strange reason. We'll see how we get on tonight. Well, I'm Kathy O'Connor, took up the job. And a pity, says she, you're wrong, I'm sure. Biggie gave her clap upon the gob and sent her sprawling across the floor. Twas then the words in silly rage. It was woman to woman and man to man. You ready? Over to this row here, 